Are you scoring 500, 600, 650 or 700 at this point? Are you confident that your dream of becoming a doctor is finally coming true? Are you seeing yourself in a white coat in a medical college of your choice? Rahul was that student and he was always on top of his game. Scoring 650 plus in mocks, mastering NCRT, solving thousands of MCQs. Everyone believed that he was destined for AIMS. But when the results came out, he didn't even make it to a GMC. What went wrong? Wasn't he well prepared enough? Did he not study hard enough? No, in fact, he made a few blunders that most of the students don't even realize until it's too late. I'm sure you might be wondering how can a student who has studied everything, ace the mocks and worked hard still fall short. Here is the thing, success in NEET isn't about what you study, it's about how you approach the process, how you manage the energy and how you avoid those small mistakes that even most of the prepared students make. If you are an aspirant who's already worked hard and prepared thoroughly, then these blunders might be the ones you never thought could affect your performance and trust me, they could make all the difference between a bad result and a great result. Could you be making the same blunders? Let me help you so that you can perform at your peak when the exam day arrives. Blunder 1. Overconfidence in strengths. Rahul's confidence in biology was his biggest strength but also his biggest weakness. He breezed through topics like genetics, human physiology and ecology during his preparation. Assuming he would ace them on the exam day, but he underestimated how tricky neat could be. After doing multiple revisions, he felt he has mastered biology, leading to silly mistakes in the areas he thought he had mastered. Confidence is good, but it should never replace the continuous hard work. Treat every topic, no matter how strong you are in it, as it is your first time of learning it. Regularly revise even your strongest areas to avoid any mistake. Blunder 2. Ignoring the power of PYQs. Rahul thought mock tests alone were enough. He overlooked previous year questions to some extent, but here is the thing. Neat loves patterns, while the questions aren't repeated word for word, concepts and framing styles often are. He did solve a lot of previous year questions, but not to the extent he should have. He missed the opportunity to understand the exam's rhythm. PYQs are more important than just practice. They are a guide to Neat's mindset. They help you to dive into the mind of a questioner. You get to understand how a questioner can play with the concepts and frame questions. Solo at least the last 20 years of the papers and analyze repeating themes. Blunder 3. Overloading in the final weeks. 3-4 weeks before the exam, Rahul started to panic. He felt he had not done enough and decided to add new material and new strategies to his routine. Instead of boosting his confidence, this overloaded his brain and led to burnout. The last few weeks are for revision, consolidation and mock test, not for the experimentation. Stick to what you know and trust your preparation. Blunder 4. Neglecting exam strategy. Rahul had perfect preparation but no planning for the exam day. He started his paper with physics which was his weakest subject compared to the other two. After struggling with a few tough questions, his confidence came crashing down and he wasted time trying to solve them. By the time he reached biology, the clock was ticking and he made rushed errors. Exam strategy is as important as preparation. Find the subject order that works best for you and stick to it in every mock test. Blunder 5. Underestimating mental endurance. You have to understand that NEET is a demanding exam. Despite his academic preparation, Rahul didn't train for the exam's mental and physical demands. He was used to studying for a long time and giving mock tests day in and day out, but not under stress. Think about it. The exam is three hours long. That's a marathon of concentration, memory recall and problem solving all while you are under pressure. Rahul has studied all the right material and has completed countless mock tests and knows his subject inside and out. But as soon as he sits in the exam, the pressure starts to get to him. His mind starts to wonder. He forgets things he should know and halfway through he begins to feel mentally drained. Train your mind with the timed mock tests that simulate the actual exam environment. Don't just study, practice with the pressure like you are in the exam room. Rahul's story is a wake-up call for all the well-prepared students. Sometimes the difference between the success and failure isn't how hard you have worked. It's a small overlooked details that make or break your performance. Are you ready to avoid these pitfalls and take your neat preparation to the next level? It's a time to stop guessing and start acting smart. Which of these mistakes do you think you are making? Comment down below and let me know how you plan to overcome those mistakes. And if this video added value to your preparation, hit the like button, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more advanced need tips. Your dream is closer than you think. Let's make it a reality. Stay sharp, stay focused as always. Keep chasing your dream. See you in the next video. One more thing I just want to tell you over here. Right now on Unacademy's Plus subscription, 
50% off is going on and you'll be getting the 12 months of free extension. So if you are planning to take an Academy's Plus subscription, if you want to learn from the top educators of the country, then take it right away. The link is in the description below. Thank you so much.